Welcome back, Storm fans. Brian Cook here. And today we're going to be playing Ruby Storm featuring zero reserveless cards. You heard me correctly. Zero reserveless cards. No City of Traders, no Lion's Eye Diamond, Storm Combo, and Legacy. Without those cards, it's pretty wild. And in order to make that happen, we are basing our deck around Ruby Medallion, how this deck gets its name, a bunch of red cards that all get cost reduced by one thanks to the medallion. We also have Bergy. Uh, God of Storytelling, which also has a ton of function in this deck, but acts as another ru ruby medallion, essentially. Whenever you cast a spell, add red, it doesn't empty during phases. And then it's also a flip card, where on the back, it's a card advantage engine called Hornfell. You discard a card, exile two, you can play them this turn. So, two pretty powerful effects. And when we look at the rest of the deck, we have Rite of Flame, a classic red storm card, Burning Wish, another card you're familiar with if you know the Epic Storm. Desperate Ritual, Manamorphose, you should know most of these. And then a card that the Epic Storm has changed itself to, you know, utilize better is Galvanic Relay. From there, we have Jessica's Will. If you play a lot of Commander or CEDH, you might be familiar with this one. So you can either do a supercharged copy of Seething Song, or you can act on Impulse with it. It's modal. It's actually very, very good. And then we have Seething Song itself. Bonus round, one of the namesakes of this deck, a lot of people call it bonus round Ruby Storm because th this card allows you to beat counter magic pretty efficiently. It's really powerful, which is why you don't really see any main deck interaction. So with this card, you copy the instants and sorceries you would play in a turn like Rite of Flame or Burning Wish or whatever. Pass and Flames to help you beat blue decks. And then a relatively new card, Inspired Tinkering, a 5-mana Sorcery. You exile the top 3, so the Act on Impulse effect again. You may play those this turn, and you get 3 Treasure Tokens. This is a 4 of in this particular list. I was hunting for a Ruby Storm list, and I found one with 4 in it. And I was like, ooh, that's interesting. Alternatively, you could run uh, Reckless Impulse. I think that's what it's called. Uh, which is fine. Uh, but Inspiring Tinkering is a little bit more high-powered, and that's what we're really looking to do today is push that boundary. So let's go back to the mana base. Most lists run Ancient Tomb. I mentioned that this is a no-reserve list deck list. I wouldn't say that it's a budget deck list. I didn't feel comfortable putting that in the title, but when as I record today, I checked it. This deck is $750 in paper, $190 uh, on Magic Online using Moto Tickets. So half of that 750 is literally just four copies of Ancient Tomb, and then $120 of it is Ruby Medallion. Everything else in this deck is relatively cheap. You could argue that Lotus Petal is sort of expensive, but I mean, it's mostly just Ruby Medallion and Ancient Tomb. So Sandstone Needle is a card that I've always liked in this deck, but other Ruby Storm players don't. So when we look at the deck list, we have a bunch of three mana value spells between Bergy, God of Storytelling, Jessica's Will, Seething Song, Bonus Round, and then today we're playing Inspired Tingering. Our curve is very high. So when it's high like this, I like Sandstone Needle. So that way you can accelerate more easily into your three mana value spells, but also it just helps you pop out a Ruby Medallion early, and I like that. So you don't have to play the Sandstone Needle. They're a card that I like in this strategy. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Most other people don't play them. Uh, but that's what I've got in the main deck. In the sideboard, Leyline, Reanimator is very popular on Magic Online. Defense Grid for the blue decks for post board. And then a bunch of wish targets. The last one is really there to answer things like Deafening Silence, Thalia, Collector Roof, or whatever. Uh, Red doesn't really have a great answer. So you could play something like Anarchy, but then you have to build up to five mana to answer a Thalia or four through Deafening Silence. It's just a really tall ask. And I think Blast Zone just does it all more efficiently. So that's what we're playing. If you have any thoughts, comments, questions, suggestions, whatever, put those down below. Happy to answer or hear from you on those. But for now, I kind of just want to hop on in and play some Magic the Gathering. Oh, one fun fact. So this channel is now sponsored by Eminence Gaming. On March 25th through the 26th, they will be hosting Hunt City 2. I will actually be there. You can come and meet me. On Saturday, there's a CDH event, and then on Sunday, there's a Vintage 1K. The Vintage 1K still has plenty of signups available, so go to eminence.events to check those out. And uh, let's go play some Magic. I'll see you in the first round.
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsfirm.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsfirm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to match number one. We're on the draw. We don't have a turn one, but we do have a pretty powerful turn two. So we'll lead off on Sandstone Needle and then turn two we have Land Drop into Desperate Ritual, Double Seething Song, Inspired Tinkering, Burning Wish, and well, we'll see from there. We're going to keep this seven. Looks like our opponent has also kept seven as well. Underground C into Thought Seas. Okay. Burning Wish has been discarded. Draw for turn. We pick up another land. We'll just play Needle and pass the turn. They play a Lotus Petal, Marsh Flat. So this looks like Doomsday. And Tomb. So it's Blue Black Reanimator. Okay. Marsh Flats. Or Red Black, who knows. And there's Gristle Brand on, into play on turn two. I mentioned in the deck tech how there's tons of reanimator in the leagues, and that's why we have four ley line. They unmask pitching a grief. We have no action spell. And it looks like they're actually going to pass here. Can we get a lucky top deck? Draw. Unfortunately, that doesn't do it, so we're going to have to pass. That likely means that we've lost. Okay, they've paid seven life. Free combat. Now they'll attack for six. I'll go to 14. They'll go up to nine. And now they can pay seven down to two. Faithless looting. Lotus petal. They discarded a grief. A little surprising there. Animate dead. They select the grief. They take bonus round. They play scrub land. Exhume. We'll discard desperate ritual. They're at 12 life and they're passing. Wow. Okay, so a burning wish. Off the top wins the game. Past in Flames wins the game. We have outs, but Lotus Petal isn't it. So unfortunately, we lose game number one versus Reanimator. Okay, well, we can take out Galvanic Relay. That's not a card we want in this matchup, and we'll bring in Leyline of the Void. But we're at 61. I think I'm okay boarding out of Jessica's. Maybe I keep Jessica's. We are on the play. They're a deck that mulligans a lot, which is why I wanted to board it out. But being on the play, I think it's probably wrong. Maybe board out a Desperate Ritual. Sure, let's submit. Game number two, we're on the play versus Reanimator. Uh, so, I mean, this sand is good, but what is it really doing? I think we just have to mulligan for a ley line. Looks like we're going to five. Are we going to four? I think so. We found the ley line, but no lands. Jeez, come on, Doc. Not even that. It's a ley line with like straight uncastables. Mulligan again. Go to two. Keep. Oh no, cancel. Undo. We want to keep that. All right, so we're, this is a mulligan to two. Ley line of the void. Mountain past the turn. It would take a miracle for us to win this game. Those mulligans were straight terrible. Burning Catacombs. Like, they could play a Grief and just beat me down for this game. Okay, maybe we'll get lucky and draw a Ruby Medallion. They grab a Scrubland. And they just have the Wear Tear. Oh, brutal. So nothing I did mattered. Faithless Looting. Archon of Cruelty. And no turn to reanimate. We have to pass. Alright, I'm going to concede to the Archon of Cruelty. Unfortunately, we're zero one one to start off this league. This was not a great game. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. I won't lie, that was a pretty brutal match number one, but we're looking to bounce back here. Our opponent's taking a mulligan. So we do have double Burning Wish. This hand can do some stuff, it's just painfully slow. 
So it's fine against the blue deck, but if it's against anything else, I'm afraid that this hand is just too clunky. I think I'm going to mulligan. If I knew I was facing a blue deck, I would keep, but I just don't know. And this hand is already better. So we can bottom the needle and keep the rest. Okay, let's party. Well, there's a blue deck. Looks like they're recast. Emery Lurker of the Lock. So first we get Black Red Reanimator into 8-cast. This is probably not going to be a pretty league. Okay, they draw off their bobbles. Let's just auto-yield to these. Another land. We're going to play turn 1 Ruby Medallion. Pass. They play an Ancient Tomb. They have 4 in hand. They activate the Emery targeting Mox Opal. Only the Opal itself for Metalcraft at the moment. Chalice on 1. We don't even play a single card in our deck that costs one. I oh, no, we have three Rite of Flames. My bad. They have three in hand. Another bonus round. Seething Song. Burgi. Well, technically Hornfell. My bad. Discard the Mountain. Galvanic Relay. Inspired Tinkering. I would love to be able to play Tinkering this turn. Discard bonus round. Burning Wish. We need to hit a Seething Song or a Jeska's Will here. Discard the bonus round. I missed. I missed. Oh no. Ugh. Your sideboard. Second so burning wish and a grape shot to kill the emery. Is that the play? Or I can play the burgy. That stinks that we hit none of the rituals off that. We had desperates that were also decent hits. It's a shame. I think I'm going to play the Bergy. Grape Shot kill, killing the Emery doesn't seem fantastic to me. So let's play the God of Storytelling. Pass. They play a Mishra's Bobble. They use the Emery. They play another one. Sure. Thought Monitor from hand. So they'll draw two. They play a Seat into another Thought Monitor. Okay. Thought Cast. So they've refueled their hand into a third Bobble. So they're pretty likely to have a force of will by now. Okay. So they'll have six cards in hand by the time our turn starts. Here they go. So, I mean, they're over a third of their way through the deck. They should have one. Discard the bonus round. Unfortunately, I can't bonus round before I morphos here. So I'm just going to play the mana morphos. Trigger and make a red. We have resolves red red burning wish let's play the bonus round okay they force will pitching sigh for this burning wish is free because it costs one less from ruby medallion and then burgie makes up the red that we have to pay so we're putting wish on the stack oh my so if we get past in flames here i think past in flames probably wins yes i just want to think this through so Pass in Flames would have two floating. Yeah, I think it's Pass in Flames. Ooh, I can discard it to the horn. And then I have enough mana to flash it back, floating one. And I still have a land drop, so I like discarding the Pass in Flames here. Ancient Tomb, Right of Flame. Playing the Right of Flame is free, even though it's going to be countered. It's just free storm. So we'll play it into the Chalice of the Void. The Chalice of the Void will trigger. And then we're going to take some damage. Flashback Pass in Flames. Okay, and then we will Seething Song. Cool. Bonus round. Costs us one red to play it. Bonus round again. Oh boy. We're, we're getting into the fun zone. And now we'll bonus round again. Ooh, okay, so it was beneficial for... I, I guess I was actually supposed to wait to play the Rite of Flame because post-bonus round, it would have won through the Chalice. Let's play another bonus round first. My bad. Oh, I heard you like to copy things. I'm going to break magic online. It's going to happen. Need to not accidentally deck myself here. Right of flame. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, wow. Yo, dog. I heard you like right of flames. This is amazing. All right. I'm going to have to buy some Japanese foil bonus rounds after this league is over. Okay, 
We have 30 red mana. Let's play Manamorphose. Bergy trigger. Okay, we'll make black. Blue. Why not? We'll do white. Green. Red. Black. Okay, they concede. Yes, that was sweet. That was what we wanted to do here today. Let's board in defense grid. Do we just board out Rite of Flame versus the Chales 1 deck? I don't hate it. Let's try this out. I know it's a little bit wonky, but it's what I'm here for. This is a good one. Keep. I prefer Ancient Tomb over the Sandstone Needle, but beggars can't be choosers. Turn 1 Saga. Mishra's Bobble. Mox Opal. They're passing with four cards in hand. We'll go and take a draw. Desperate. Okay, play the needle. Pass. There's a saga goes up to two. Ancient tomb. Chalice on zero. Sure. Three cards in hand. Inspired tinkering. Let's play defense grid. So they can pay for defense grid, but now when they go to their turn, they have to make a decision. And that's sort of the beauty of playing defense grid in this spot. So end step, they're going to make a construct. Okay. Well, now when they go to their turn, they have to choose between making a second construct or leaving up mana to pay for defense grid. And it looks like they're just going to disrespect. Okay. Probably gets like a graph diggers cage here or something like that. Hey, look at me. I've played magic before. That is not three mana. So currently they cannot pay for anything. Bot monitor, so they're just going the full disrespect route. We get to party on our turn. Soul Guide Lantern, whatever. Swinging for nine, we go to 11. I'm excited. Let's effing go. Draw. The God of Storytelling? What? Okay, so they have four cards in hand. Let's start on Seething Song. Play Bergy. Desperate Ritual. Triggers. I want the mana. And now we will add a red for each card in our opponent's hand. So this Jessica's Will will make four mana. Technically five if you count the Bergy. Now we will Inspired Tinkering. So we'll have two mana floating. The Inspired Tinkering will exile the top three and make three treasure. Holy moly. Okay, so now let's cast the bonus round. Imagine being eight cast and just getting pummeled like this. I wouldn't tell my friends. No, I would not. Okay. Bonus round copies. Make some red mana and draw two. Another seething song. Okay. Play a land. But seething song. All the red mana anyone could ever want. Burning Wish. We're going to leave this one in exile because I think I want a wheel here. Ooh, I forgot that we can copy. Yeah. We get two cards. So let's get empty the warrants in case I fizzle. And then we'll get wheel. And by wheel, I mean reforge the soul. So let's empty the warrants. Okay. We have a horde of goblins. Bonus round is actually going to copy it. So while you may be thinking 20, it's actually 22. Yeah, I need to buy bonus rounds like immediately. This is too much fun. If you're interested in buying the deck, by the way, I might as well shill since I'm playing it. Uh, in every single video, there's a pinned comment. In that pinned comment, you can support this channel by buying cards through one of those two links. So either Card Hoarder for Magic Online or TCG Player. We get a small percentage back to help support us, uh, and I would greatly appreciate that. All right, Reforge. Uh, so we did hit an instant before this Reforge uh, resolves, so let's play Metamorphose. Basically, it's just free mana. Oh, uh, the opponent's had enough? Aww. All right, we're a one and one. Take that, eight cast. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. 
Match three, we're facing Got the Wong guy who plays a lot of Stone Blade. Here we have a pretty good hand, but we don't have a red source, so it's kind of risky. I think you're supposed to mulligan. I really want to keep it on the draw, but I just don't think you're supposed to. Better. Okay, so we will keep this. Get rid of Inspired Tinkering versus the Force deck, I think. Flooded Strand. Pass. Okay. Sandstone Needle. Pass the turn. Flooded Strand for Volcanic Island. Brainstorm. Are you on Delver? What kind of Stone Blade player would switch to Delver? Some people. Ooh, that hurts. Uh oh. The jig is up. Channeler, okay. Draw for turn, we missed. I'm going to concede. So you might be saying this is a little preemptive. Our opponent doesn't know what we're playing. All they know is we have Sandstone Needle in our deck. So. I'm going to choose to not give them any more information and let's bring in some defense grids. Inspired Tinkering, I think, is a pretty big liability here, so I'm going to board that out. And against a deck like Delver, I actually like having extra mana. So I'm going to bring in... Actually, do I just want to bring in the Blast Zone instead? Hmm. We could just board up on lands. I don't hate it. Board out one Desperate Ritual. Let's submit. On the play for game number two, keep. They take a mulligan. All right, they're on five cards. Ancient Tomb. Ruby Medallion on the stack. We're at 18. It resolves. Let's go. Volcanic Island into Dragon's Rage Channeler. Mishra's Bobble. We'll auto yield to the Bobble. They chose to keep on top, so it's got to be a good one. Draw. Desperate Ritual, okay. I think I'm going to Seething Song. Let's play around days if we can. Play Hornfell. Two mana floating. Force Negation, that's brutal. Okay, let's Manamorphose. See if we can draw into something good here, like a Galvanic Relay. Red, red. No dice. Pass the turn. They play a basic. Attack for one. Take a draw. Jessica's Will, okay. I think we're going to sit on that for a moment. We'll just play a land and pass. Brainstorm is clearly a good one. They mill a ponder. Wow. Okay. Being aggressive, I like it. It does give them delirium. Golding turn, two cards in hand. Another channeler. So they're going aggressive. Now we're at 12. Take a draw. One card. Bonus round. Hell yeah. All right. Tap the needle. Play the bonus round. Just for ritual. Bonus round will copy it. Okay. We're going to go to 10. And I'm going to choose the mode to exile the top three. So it's going to copy that. You can't switch modes. So we get to play with the top six cards of our deck. They're fetching. We have a fluster. It's a hydro. Wow. That's really disappointing. We'll play our ancient tomb and pass. Just getting Delvered. Not been an easy league for Ruby Storm, I'll say that. Reanimator 8 cast Delver. Fun police. And a chart of course. Jeez Louise. And they topped a card twice. Ponder. They play a volcanic, one card in hand. Do we get lucky? We do not. Alright, we are one and two. Wump wump. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match number four, we're on the draw versus Scott Official, and we will keep. I don't know why, but in my head, I have them like remembered as a dredge player. Obviously, I'm wrong with this turn one Marsh Flats. It looks like it might be Reanimator again. Uh oh. Targets themselves. Or kind of cruelty. I think we might be able to beat that. Okay, we'll discard Ancient Tomb. I'm, I'm not saying we're definitely going to win. I'm just saying it's possible. Draw for turn. Okay. Let's play the needle past the turn. So Archon will attack us for nine here. Um, with the trigger, that is. So. 
we don't get another turn, so we might as well discard this extra land. And then, I mean, this is capable of a turn two, assuming our opponent didn't draw any way to disrupt us. Land, three cards, they're passing, yes! So you're saying there's a chance. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, so let's deal ourselves a little bit of damage. We're going to start off on the Desperate Ritual. But the bonus round, Rite of Flame. Let's party. Manamorphose, red, red, and another Manamorphose? How lucky am I? Oh, we're really going to town. Okay. Yes, this is what I signed up for right here. Inspired Tinkering. And it, so this actually makes a mana. Let's look at this. Let's play Bergy the hard way. Well, the front half, I should say. Play Lotus Petal. Bergy makes a red. Okay, let's sacrifice the pedal. We'll play a bonus round. We didn't come here to not copy stuff. Okay, now we'll sacrifice this and play another copy of Inspired Tinkering. So I believe I get four copies of Inspired Tinkering. We'll find out. But it looks like my math was correct. What, you don't like treasure? People think Dockside is too good. Look at this. Clearly, Inspired Tinkering was the real broken card this whole time. They're at 23. All right, we'll play a Lotus Petal, make a red. Let's play Seething Song, I guess. Sacrifice the Lotus Petal. We'll get roughly 1 million mana. Seething Song again. Okay. We just have to build up the Lethal Storm. Play another bonus round. Actually, I guess we can Burning Wish, get Grape Shot past in Flames. I didn't think about that. Okay. And the opponent concedes, so we've stolen game number one from Reanimator. Let's see if we can get them in game number two with a ley line. That would make me happy. Okay, so Fire and Tinkering look pretty good there. We don't want the uh, the Galvanic Relays, as I mentioned. I'm going to try to board out one Tinkering this time instead of the Desperate Ritual. All right, this is the kind of hand I was looking for in that first match. Unfortunately, uh, the combo gods, Kronos, did not look down on me uh, well in that match. But here, we, we have a real chance to steal this match from Reanimator. Keep, 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 keep. Leyline of the Void. Bloodstained Mire. Unmasked targeting me. They've exiled Exhum. They take Burning Wish. Okay, we're just going to play turn one Ruby Medallion. Pass. All we want to do is Ruby. They pick up a Badlands that doesn't answer Leyline. They Entomb, thinning their deck a little bit here. And they Exile and Exhum. Include a Delta. We draw a Basic. They don't know about that. Let's just play the other Ruby Medallion past the turn. So next turn, this Passing Flames costs two mana. We could Passing Flames Flashback Burning Wish and then cast something from our sideboard. Not sure what that is, but it's something we're allowed to do. Uh, we could wheel. That is a play we can make. No, actually, I'm one mana short. Because we have five total mana. Pass and Flames cost two. Burning Wish costs one. Wheel will cost three. So a Rite of Flame, Lotus Petal, Desperate Ritual, those would all do it. Obviously, Seething Song and Jessica's Will are both welcome. They discard Enemy Dead Unmask. They play another land. They're passing. Draw. Jessica's will costs one and makes two. Alternatively, I can just use it to play the top three, which is what I'm going to do. Into another ruby medallion? Okay. So now pass and flames costs one. Play the mountain. We'll just pass the turn. Okay, my spells, they are cheap. Land. So this gives them a blue source for show and tell if they have it. Scrubland. Four mana. Good grief. Well, grief can really only discard the past in flames here, and it has flashbacks, so it doesn't really matter. Goodbye, past in flames. Draw. And it's a ritual. Cast it. Flashback, past in flames. We'll go to 12. I'll pay using a colorless. Best for ritual. We're going to save the Jessica's Will for now. Yes, I would like to Burning Wish. 
go grab the reforge the soul and now this costs two we can just uh do all the fun stuff now the bergmeister tap the sandstone needle we will cast bonus round into another copy of bonus round remember while you may be losing both red bergy's going to make a red okay now we'll play Manamorphos. And this game is essentially over. Do 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 All right, let's bonus round again. I came here to bonus round, and we're going to do it. Fire tinkering. We're pretty much going to exile most of our deck here and create a lot of treasure. Yes yes this is sweet all right one match left we're two and two the best legacy podcast that would be eternal glory featuring myself bryant cook alongside brian cobal and phil gallagher we're available on all major podcast platforms and youtube the fifth and final round we are on the play okay so we have a hand where our it's a little awkward. Our payoff here is Galvanic Relay, which doesn't really work with bonus round. So I think you're supposed to mulligan this one, unfortunately. Okay, so we have Needle into a pretty powerful hand. I think we keep this and we bottom the Jesk as well. Okay. Sandstone Needle past the turn. Our opponent mulligan to five. I mean, we mulligan to six, so not a huge difference. Ancient Tomb. I mean, Spirit Guide, Fable. Okay, not Trinisphere. Big fan of that. Draw. Jinchum looks like we're going to party. Seething Song. Manamorphose. Probably should have started on this in case I drew Ruby Medallion. Didn't matter. Right of Flame. Play Past in Flames. Seething Song. Right of Flame. So that gives us six mana, which is enough to empty. Manamorphose. Let's see if I believe what my entire sideboard's red. Yeah, okay. Uh so we can do red red. Inspired tinkering. So this is actually pretty risky. So I could play tinkering, but if it doesn't win here, it's really bad for me. So we would go down to one floating, we'd make three treasure. Or I can accept and empty the warrens for 18. And I believe that's the move. Alright, grab the empty. No tendrils in the sideboard would have been good here. Most lists don't play a tendrils in the sideboard, by the way. Okay. So now we're passing. And we win game number one. Our sideboard notably doesn't have anything to answer Trinisphere. Um, I don't even want to bring in Blast Zone. Relay's not very good, though. Admittedly, it's very bad in this matchup. So we'll bring, <laughs> we'll bring in the Blast Zones there. Do I want to bring in Rite of Flame? think so like i can't see myself burning wishing for right of flame in this matchup and if i have the whole bonus round thing going on i'm already winning so we're, we're gonna try this i think speed matters a lot in this matchup and having that initial burst of mana is going to be helpful okay well this hand's pretty good we have turn one ruby medallion we don't have a payoff a little weird that we've opened up the past in flames because they could be boarding into ley line I think I'm going to mulligan. Like, this hand could be a keep, but I think in this matchup with our opponent being a ley line deck and us not having an actual action spell, it's kind of risky. So we found the blast zone. This is a turn one empty again. We'll try it. Put the tinkering on the bottom. They kept seven, so I have to imagine that they have a good hand. Lotus Petal Ancient Tomb. Turn one Minskin Boo. Okay. Sure. They're at 18. Draw. Ruby Medallion. That was a spicy one. All right, so we're going to play Lotus Petal. Let's write a flame. Tap the Blast Zone. Play the Medallion. Desperate Ritual. Seething Song. Burning Wish. So I have the choice here of I can, I guess I can click yes first. So I can grab Reforge here or I can grab Empty. I'm worried that Empty for 14 won't win from here. They have three cards in hand. Reforge could also just fizzle. That's another concern of mine. I think I'm going to reforge. One mana floating. Okay. I can put a Bergy onto the table. Rifle makes three mana. 
So I can go Ruby Medallion Bergy. I think that's probably the play. Play Rite of Flame. Force of Vigor. Not very nice. We'll play another Ruby Medallion. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to play the Bergy. We'll pass. Maybe I should have emptied for 14. I don't know. I was worried about them having a giant 7-7 Trampler that also draws cards, and I don't... Maybe I was playing too defensively. Because they can fling the Boo as well. They're going to kill the Bergy here. Yep. Maybe I punted. Collector Oof and Force of Vigor. Sure. Into a... Okay. A uh, Fable. Draw. Don't think I'm dead. Play the Ruby Medallion and we have to pass. I mean, I guess I'm dead if they have another initiative creature. So five. This puts me to one. If I'm seeing it correctly. So this becomes a five power. This is four. And then two here. So that would put me to one. Uh, Is that lethal? Eight, three off the Minskin Boo if they fling it. So I guess flinging the Minskin Boo gives them additional chances to draw into another initiative creature for actual lethal. Or that will do. Okay, so now we're going to game number three. Maybe I was supposed to just throw one empty. Resubmit. On the play for game three. This doesn't do it. Mulligan. So this is like at best turn three. Bergy. Ride of Flame. This hand's awkward. Like, it's not bad, it's just awkward. They kept seven. I think I'm going to keep. This hand doesn't lose to Force of Vigor, and I kind of like that. It's just very slow. Turn one Mountain. Trinosphere. Okay. Sandstone Needle will pass. And they're passing while we're about to have a Bergmeister. Ooh, Ancient Tomb. Okay. We'll pass the turn. I think we might be able to beat the Trinus here next turn, assuming that our Bergy lives. Okay, so let's just talk this through. So if I play bonus round, Red of Flame costs three, makes four. We get mana off this. I can then inspire Tinkering. Yeah, I think that's the line. Bonus round makes a red. Tap. Play Red of Flame. Okay. Now we inspired Tinkering. Oh boy. We're in the fun zone. Play land. And they concede. Yes. Nice turn one Trinosphere. Let's go. All right. We got the 3 2. Uh, I'm not going to pretend it's the world's best record, but for the matchups we had, this was a pretty good league. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, Inspired Tinkering was pretty good. I liked it a lot. I don't really have any complaints about the deck list. I would run it right back. Um, in the sideboard, we're not playing anything like Shattering Spree or Pulverize, and it didn't really bite us in the butt. I'd just like to point that out. We do have Blast Zone and stuff, but I think you get more mileage out of things like Leyline of the Void and Defense Grid, rather than playing a giant wishboard full of things that aren't super practical, but I don't think it's against the law or anything to play a Pulverize in there if you so choose. You probably have to cut a Blast Zone, because I think these other wish targets are kind of key, or... You could move the Rite of Flame to the main deck and cut one of these Desperate Rituals. I think that's also acceptable. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a great day and keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.